Welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the Mario game in SFML series and in this video we are going to get started implementing a proper movement system for our Mario instead of just having a system in which the Mario can move wherever he wants to. So currently if I start my game what you know is that we have got a Mario in the screen and that works but we can currently move the Mario whatever way we like we can move him out of the screen. Uh, we want the Mario to be only controlled vertically while this way it will be controlled by gravity and maybe by jumping later. But for now gravity so how are we gonna do that well for that we will remove these two lines because uh, we don't want to allow the mario to move up and down uh, because if you allow mario to move up and down then gravity won't really make that much sense so now we need to actually uh, implement uh, it uh, implement a system now uh, system for moving the Mar uh, moving mario like uh, down based on gravity so for that i'm actually going to remove these lines but i'm going to have this line remain where it is and we are going to wrap the top we are adding basically speed multiplied by delta time now if i just do that and i start what you should see is that uh, what happens is that if i start actually uh, if you alright you can see that Mario is moving downwards with a uh, like a uh, constant speed which uh, may sound a little bit like gravity and if I go ahead and actually uh, decrease the speed here here we are having 300 speed if I make it like 150 uh, then you can kind of see it a bit better but obviously this is not like gravity at all because uh, currently uh, you can see it's not like gravity at all because it's moving like uh, it's like mo moving like a balloon really because uh, it's moving at a constant speed so it doesn't feel like uh, natural gravity well in order to fix this um, what we must do is we must create a float here called uh, vertical uh, speed I guess so vertical speed uh, you might you might create a vector 2f for representing both of that but these two are really different because vertical speed is not going to uh, specify how much speed uh, it is moving vertically uh, and uh, uh, maybe you might want to call it vertical velocity because your uh, speed might feel like uh, you are moving uh, allowing the Mario to move vertically so you are doing that so we'll do vertical velocity and uh, this will be zero by default and uh, you may want to initialize it here and uh, uh, if I actually do it like this so uh, we will make the vertical velocity initially 0 but for now for testing let's make it 10 and uh, instead of adding uh, this to the uh, speed to multiply by delta time we are going to do vertical velocity and uh, let's make it uh, something like 50 and uh, let's try that out how well it goes so as soon as this actually starts uh, if it does correctly uh, start all right you can see that mario is moving downwards like it's on a parachute uh, and he looks really like a balloon because uh, it's moving at a constant speed so in order to fix this what we are going to do is we are going to move this vertical velocity to zero and each time we do this before we do this we are going to go ahead and say uh, vertical velocity vertical velocity uh, and then we are going to say plus equal and we are going to say a, a variable here for gravity so let's go ahead and say gravity and if I do that, uh, that uh, is not created yet, uh, and I'm still going to initialize it. Even if it's not created, we will uh, make it. Uh, we will can set the value later. For now, let's go ahead and create a float here called gravity, so that it stops giving us the error. And for the initialization, let's set it to something like five, for example, for starting. Let's set it to five, and this will actually make it look like some natural gravity effect and oh uh, that's a bit too fast so we need to uh, make it something really really small because this is adding uh, being added to the mario like every second so we want to make this really really small and not large at all and if i set it to 0 0.2 uh, that is what it uh, looks like uh, and uh, it uh, uh, obviously you can play around with the value until you get something that you like uh, and uh, uh, once you do that you can go ahead and actually like uh, implement that so if I start this right now if I start with gravity being 0 0.1 then this is what happens now this obviously uh, kind of works but uh, it does not look that natural either so how are we supposed to make like a really really natural gravity system well doing that is actually pretty simple first of all I'm going to increase my gravity to something really high like 1000 and uh, maybe you can say 900 or I'll just keep it at 1000 and uh, then I'm going to move this uh, 
sorry uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and move this down uh, so vertical velocity after so first of all we will add the vertical velocity then we will add gravity to the vertical velocity and in here I'm going to add uh, multiply this gravity by delta time as well and if I start the game right now what you should see is that we have got a pretty much working thing here okay a, a nice uh, system for gravity so with that done in the next video we'll implement a uh, lower ground in the end so that we can actually you know uh, have uh, some place for the mario to stand on so we'll do that in the next video make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for that i will see you in the next one and bye